Hey everyone! So, as you can tell by, um... This beautiful picture that I took that's on the wall, it's Halloween! <laughs> yes! It's Halloween, and you know what that means? That means that today, I'm not gonna do anything. No, no, no. On Halloween, I have a yearly tradition, which is to do nothing. I'm just gonna sit here on this couch with King Finley, who's um, asleep right now, and I'm just gonna watch spooky movies all day and all night long. So, just gonna get on with it. Who could that be? So, this just arrived, and this is kind of weird, because I've not actually ordered anything, so some random person's just sent me this, so, yeah, um, I've got no idea what it is. Let's open it and check it out. So, this guy is the Sega World Sydney Tales Doll plush. I mean, oh, okay, when it was released it wasn't called the Tales Doll plush, but, I mean, ever since Sonic R came out and they had that character in it, people have affectionately called this guy the Tales Doll plush because, I mean, well, look at him! Yeah, I mean, he's the closest thing we're gonna get to an official Tails Doll plush. The Tails Doll first appeared in the video game Sonic R. It's the only game that the Tails Doll has ever appeared in, and since its first appearance, it's become quite infamous, as well as quite the fan favourite amongst many people in the Sonic fanbase. Many fans have often used the Tails Doll as the subject of very creepy and spooky fan art, as well as several creepy pieces of fan fiction. Some fans even want the character to return in some way. Even Takashi Izuka was once asked about the Tails Doll during a fan Q&A session. Despite the fact the character has quite the cult following in the Sonic fanbase, it's never returned in a previous game. Even games like Team Sonic Racing and Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed never had the Tails doll as a character, but it has been referenced every now and again, just not directly. And despite the cult status of the character, it's never had any official merchandise made for it. And that's why many fans consider this guy to be a Tails doll plush, despite the fact he's not a Tails doll plush. In fact, if anything, technically this guy is an Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Tails plush. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Sega World Sydney that you've got to remember is they didn't exactly follow Sega's mandate. No, no, no. You see, while Sega World London and Tokyo Joy Polis basically followed Sega Sonic, Sega World Sydney decided to base 90% of their Sonic range off Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And you can really tell this when you look at the Robotnik plush that they made, as well as the Princess Sally, and their standard Sonic plush. It's blatantly based off Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And then there's this guy. So yeah, this is their attempt at making Tails. So this was basically their attempt to make a Tails plush, and... I mean... Okay, let's start with what they got right. First of all, they got his colours right, they kinda got um, these things right, and they got his shoes right and his gloves right and they've given him two tails. But I mean, I mean, just look at him. Look, look at the eyes. Just look at the eyes on this. 
They look like they're staring into your soul. They're like dead, lifeless eyes. And, and his mouth as well. He's smiling, but it's kind of this smile of, I'm going to get you when you sleep. Yeah, this guy is one creepy looking Tails plush. So you can understand why fans have actually called this an unofficial official Tails doll plush because it's just so weird and bizarre. But would you believe there's actually a second version of this? Yeah, there's actually, this actually came in two different sizes. There's this version and I believe there's a much larger version as well, but they're both about equal in terms of rarity. So yeah, that was their effort to make a Tails plush at Sega World Sydney. And boy, is it creepy. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to say about this plush. I mean, aside from the fact that due to the way it looks, some fans have said, aha, it's actually cursed merchandise. But come on, guys, cursed merch is just a bit of an internet joke. Yet, yeah, there's something that's still bugging me. Like, I didn't order this. This literally just turned up. So who sent me this and, and why? But anyway, like I said, it's Halloween! And that means I'm not gonna do anything else for the rest of the day. It's time for spooky movies! Ha ha! <sighs> ah yes, a night of horror movies. All the movies I'll ever need. Yeah!
Can you feel the sunshine? Jesus Christ! Does it brighten up your day? Want some sunshine? <laughs> Can you feel the sunshine? I don't want to feel the sunshine. Keys. Keys. Keys to the back door. Where did I? He's upstairs. I need to find a weapon. I've got to get back upstairs. Great. Now if anyone just attacks me, I can... Tickle them to death. Well, let's see, there's gotta be something that'll let me. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you, you little creep! <laughs> Wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? It's just a tiny little plush doll. It's not like it could break down a door! <laughs> What the hell? Oh no! Sunshine? What the hell do you want from me, man? Can you feel it? Want some sunshine? No, I don't want to feel the sunshine! Huh? What? Big! What? Looks like he needs my help. I'll save you. Don't worry, Pally. <sighs> Thank you, Big. It's finally over. But as long as there are Sega World Sydney Tales doll plushies out there, none of us are safe. To my fellow merch collectors, if you have Sega World Sydney merch in your collection, watch your display cases, watch your collections. So long as they're out there, none of us are safe. Keep watching your merch cases, keep watching your collections. Sunshine, does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel that one day 
I'll send you straight to hell. <laughs> Mushy. Oh, hey, Mushy. That's one for the outtakes. Hello, my friends. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and click the bell icon. And don't forget to share the video with others. If you really enjoyed this video and would like to support the work I do further, please consider supporting me on Patreon, or by treating me to a simple cup of coffee. But most of all, just thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you.